Short-term vacation rentals are a popular alternative to booking a hotel room near AT&T Stadium and Six Flags in Arlington, but neighbors say some of those rental properties attract loud and destructive visitors, and now the city of Arlington is considering a crackdown. Fox 4's Natalie Solis live in Arlington with the story. Natalie. Hi, Steve. Well, with the stadium, ballpark, and amusement parks, short-term rentals have become big business. And so far, the city of Arlington has been silent on the issue. But that is likely to change. But uh, we did not expect to run into this at all. Tiffany Morgan and her family recently moved back to Arlington. They love their new home. What they don't love. And it's been not like revolving door. A constant stream of strangers at a home up the block listed on a short term rental website. And it's the same thing every time for two or three nights, Ow. 10 cars in the street, gla breaking glass. I mean, it's insane. A lot of our audience here today was here the last time. Morgan was there today as Arlington City Council members debated imposing restrictions on about 400 short term rentals across the city. Councilman Charlie Parker's district has 70 vacation rentals, far more than other districts. I personally would be appalled if one of these things moved in next door to me. Uh, there is a lot of things that could go wrong where the city will not be there to back me up. I'm in support of vacation rentals. So I know that we have a few around town, maybe quite a few in District 1 where we have noise and people parking on the street, but those issues are not specific to short term rentals. Arlington homeowner Kitty Craig worries regulating short term rentals could lead to regulating landlords of long term rental properties. As someone who wants to become a property investor, um, having restrictions imposed on me in any form um, violates my personal property rights, and I'm totally against that. Council appears to be leaning toward some form of regulation for short term rentals, like requiring renewable permits. But first, they have to clearly define what is a short term rental. I'm a little bit more open to some strict regulations and, and permits, but I, I don't foresee that being an easy thing to enforce. Well, today was just a day for discussion. The next evening meeting will allow for public comment, so we're probably looking at the next several weeks before council reaches a conclusion and then takes a vote.